Hi everyone, it's Thursday, March 25th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. A New Iberia man is facing charges in connection to Wednesday night's standoff in New Iberia. It went on for hours on Bank Avenue. According to police, Roy Jean-Louis refused to come out when he was being served a warrant. He's now facing a number of charges, including armed robbery, battery on a police officer, and also resisting arrest. A Lafayette man will stand trial for a murder last month. Cody Guccione was indicted on a second-degree murder charge in the death of Leo Jack. Jack's body, you might remember, was found inside an apartment on South College Road. The Department of Health is reporting 407 new cases of COVID-19 and 17 new deaths today. Right now, there are 396 patients hospitalized with COVID-19 across the state, and 69 of them are on ventilators. Acadiana reported 137 new cases and four new deaths. And nearly 655,000 people here in Louisiana are now fully vaccinated against COVID as the state prepares to open eligibility to anyone 16 and older. Since Monday, an additional 96,000 doses were administered. A total of 1.7 million doses have been given so far. And an Acadiana nonprofit wants to celebrate its volunteers and they need your help. The organization Escape from Poverty is looking to hold a volunteer appreciation event next month. It's all to say thank you to those who help families trying to escape poverty and make better lives for themselves. One thing about poverty is that it beats the dream and the hope out of you. And the great thing about this program is that you're partnered with a mentor and a budget counselor and other people around you who inspire you to dream and to hope again. Let's get a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Bradley Benoit. Hey, Bradley. Hey, Jim. Well, much quieter weather as we round out the week here heading into our Friday. Slightly cooler start with reading is getting down into the middle and upper 50s. We'll likely see some early morning sun, but then clouds redeveloping through the course of the day. It's going to be another mild one out there with temperatures pushing the upper 70s. Maybe an isolated sprinkle or two, especially by late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, but really nothing of consequence. And as we take a look at our extended true view forecast, a lot of clouds to contend with there on our Saturday. Rain chance is fairly low, but getting into the lower 80s there on Saturday afternoon. Mid 70s on Sunday with a few scattered showers around the area, not necessarily looking like a washout or anything like that, at least at this point. And then pretty seasonable as we head through the course of next week, staying mild uh, at least through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, could see a front there arrive as we head into Wednesday evening and night night and hopefully that'll help to cool things down a little bit as we round out next week and head to the first parts of next weekend. That's going to do it for news and weather for now. For future updates, keep it tuned to TV3 and follow us on our apps.